Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a big bore rebuild kit on a GL23 Goped scooter. We're replacing our 23cc engine with a 26.9cc 35mm 35 35mm 35 big bore kit from DDM Racing. So what you'll receive in the box is your new cylinder head right here, a new spark plug, your new piston and your um, bearing and some C-clips. So the first step you're going to want to do is remove all the plastics, your air filter and carburetor from your engine and your muffler. So I'll be back when I have all that done. Alright, so just a quick recap of what we did here. We took off the plastic shroud here. We took off our pull starter. We took off our coil. Um, we took off our exhaust took off our intake manifold and we took off our carburetor. The only thing left we need to take off is our spark plug and then we're going to remove the top cylinder head um, from the rest of the engine. Alright, now that we have our spark plug coming out, we just have this allen bolt right here and there's one directly diagonal from it that we need to remove and then our cylinder head will come off. Now your cylinder head should just come off. Just gently pull it off the piston. There you go. Well, ours isn't too bad. Doesn't have any scoring on it at all. But we want that extra power, that's why we're doing a big bore kit. So now that our cylinder head is off, we're going to go ahead and remove these C-clips on this side and there's one on the other side. I'm going to use an awl and just pry it off. There's an opening here and you just... So I just popped the other side out, unfortunately off camera. I'm going to work on this side now. Sometimes they can be kind of stubborn to get out. Just kind of got to work them out. What I'm going to do now is just use this follower here and push the pin, um, the piston pin off, out the other side since I got that ring off already. All right, so there we go. Here's our piston pin and our ring is still in there, but we didn't need to take it off. So right here is our other piston pin ring we um, didn't manage to take off because we just pushed, pushed the um, pin through the other side. So now that our piston is off, um, we just got to take the piston bearing off. There's a little spacer here, and there's a little spacer on the other side. Just like that, and then this deal should slide out. Come on, just like that. So now that we have everything disassembled, our next step is to get our piston. Um, if your piston ring isn't installed, make sure you install it, obviously. There's a little nub oops, right here that you're gonna wanna make sure your um, gap in your ring is on. And there's also a little dot on the top of your piston. This little dot has to be towards the exhaust side, not the intake side. So make sure to note that when you install your piston. So we're gonna be installing it just like this. All right, so we have our bag of new parts here. We're gonna go ahead and install our bearing and our two washers on the other side. I'm just gonna slide this in here, like so. And our spacer on this side. Oh, shoot. Spacer on this side. Spacer on the other side. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is install one C-clip on just one side of the piston so I can insert the um, piston pin from the other side. All right guys, so here you can see one um, of the piston pin rings installed. I did it off camera. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, what you do is you just compress the ring um, with a needle nose pliers and 
um, fit your tongs in between these two gaps here and then push it in. So now that we have one installed on the other side, we can install the piston onto our crankshaft. Earlier we put our bearing and two spacers on, and now we're just going to insert our new piston onto our crankshaft. like so, and then insert the piston ring, um, sorry, not ring, pin, from the other side where you don't have your piston rings. We'll find the, there it is, right there. Slides all the way in. I'm gonna use a screwdriver just to push it all the way so it fully seats in there, just like so. And now we need our piston pin ring on this side still. So you can see I have my piston pin ring um, a little compressed in my needle nose and here's my opening and I'm just going to compress it some more and try to insert it. It'll probably take me a while. Alright, come on. Gonna make sure it's fully seated in its groove. There it goes. Heard it snap in. And there we go. It's fully seated. So the next step we're gonna do is we got our new gasket that came with our new head. Um, we're just gonna put that on there and um, it's time to assemble um, our engine. One thing I'm gonna do is lubricate this with some two-stroke oil. Um, just to make assembly it'll go a little bit easier. And I'll just throw some inside the head itself too. One thing to note is this is your exhaust side with your two holes right across from each other and the other side um, with the diagonal holes is um, the intake side. Now we're just going to slide this right on our piston. There she goes. All right. So like before we have one bolt on this side and one bolt on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and install those next. All right, so once your cylinder head is installed and you have your bolts tightened down, it's a good idea just to turn this a little, turn your flywheel a little bit and um, spin your piston a little bit just to get things all lubricated from the oil you put in there. Now we're ready to reassemble our go-pad. So we're using, um, we're reusing gaskets. Um, you probably should get new gaskets, but ours aren't terrible and I don't have any new ones, so we're just gonna go ahead and reuse them. So now we're gonna go ahead and install our carburetor and intake onto our intake manifold. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our exhaust. So now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our coil onto our head just by the two Allen screws that we took it off by right here. One thing you're gonna to wanna to note is to make sure you install your coil away from your flywheel so you have enough gap. Um, if there's not enough gap, it's magnetic, so it's a little, a little challenging to do. But if there's no gap, then you'll have no spark. So push it up. Make sure it spins freely, and you should be good to go. Next thing we're going to do is put our spark plug in right here. I'm going to go ahead and install it on the top. Alright, spark, spark plug wrench, tighten it down a good bit, install our spark plug, and we're good to go. Pop our air filter back on, and we need our pull starter back on. And unfortunately, the plastic shroud won't fit on anymore. Um, you can cut a small hole in the top of it here. 
um, for the spark plug and that will allow it to fit. But we're just gonna go ahead and reassemble it without it. It'll have more airflow this way anyway. All right guys, so we have it all reassembled now. Our plastic shroud we left off because um, it doesn't fit with our new spark plug placement. Um, break in for this engine is uh, varied RPMs for the first couple hours you have on the engine and then after that you're ready to go ride it like you usually do. So let's go start it up. Alright, well there we go guys. Um, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them below. If you found the video helpful, leave a like below. And thanks for watching.